There's a new twist in the case of a Boy Scout leader caught on tape knocking over an ancient rock formation and cheering about it. Tonight we've learned that just weeks earlier he had filed a lawsuit claiming he was disabled looking to collect damages. Many now asking, so how then was he able to knock over that rock? Here's ABC's Aditi Roy now. This video touched off a criminal investigation into the toppling of the Jurassic era boulder at a Utah park. And now Boy Scout leader Glenn Taylor is facing even more scrutiny. Just last month, Taylor, who tipped over the ancient rock formation known as a goblin, sued Alan McDonald and his then 16-year-old daughter for causing him, quote, serious, permanent and debilitating injuries after a car crash four years ago. Taylor defended the suit to a local reporter. You don't look very debilitated in that video. You didn't see how hard I pushed. But Taylor insists his lawsuit is a valid one. Before the latest news of this suit broke, he told us he and his companions thought the rock was loose and brought it down before it landed on anyone. How much pressure did I put on it? Well, I wasn't trying to put pressure on other than moving my body. And I'm not a small guy, so I had to, you know, that's some weight behind it. But it went. McDonald says after seeing the video, he now has doubts Taylor suffered any injuries. Somebody with a bad back who's disabled doesn't step up and push a rock that big right off its base. ABC News reached out to Taylor's attorney. He declined to comment, but said in an earlier interview that just because his client is beginning to recover from his injured back doesn't mean he hasn't suffered from pain in the past. Aditi Roy, ABC News, San Francisco.